I've generally avoided videos about American politics because every country has its own paradigm politically and I'm loath to tre tread on the American political paradigm as how they see politics and how we see them tend to be somewhat different. However, today's news about Trump and Colorado is a precedent, a special precedent in US history. Let me share part of the US Constitution with you, namely the 14th Amendment. This is from Cornell Law School. This is part of the 14th Amendment and it's section three. It's the overview of the disqualification clause. No person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector or president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or in any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive, executive or judicial officer of any state, to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same, or given aid and comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each House, remove such disability. As of today, Donald Trump becomes the first US president in history this has been used against. Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that Donald Trump can not run for president next year in the state citing a constitutional insurrection clause. The court ruled four to three that Mr. Trump was not a legible candidate because he engaged in insurrection over the US Capitol riot nearly three years ago. It has not stopped Mr. Trump running in the other states. His campaign says it will appeal to the US Supreme Court. Of course, the question arises if other states will start to remove him from the ballot from the, in by this method. The ruling only mentions the state's primary election on 5th of March when Republican voters will choose their preferred candidate for president, but it could affect the general election in Colorado next November. It's the first ever use of Section 3 of the US Constitution's 14th Amendment to disqualify a presidential candidate. If Colorado's... Is, Actions here are copied by other states. This may well but spell the end, basically, of Trump as a politician. It would only require a certain amount of states to chuck him off the ballot and for that to be upheld. And he's gone. He's had a bad year as it is. And this decision reverses, as it notes here, an earlier one from a Colorado judge who revoked that the 14 amendments instruction did not bland, apply to presidents because the section did not absolutely mention them. It's, of course, as always with Trump, going to become an endless, long-running argument. Some background on the 14th Amendment will be helpful, as the US Constitution has had numerous amendments over the years. As you can see, the Wikipedia article on that is quite long. The 14th Amendment was adopted on the, July 9th, 1868 as one of the Reconstruction Amendments. Basically, it was adopted after the US Civil War um, and was proposed in response to issues related to formerly enslaved Americans following a Civil War. Of course, Section 3 there is obviously applicable to people like those who seceded in the Confederacy and it is aimed at that in particular. I'll wait with some interest to see what's going to happen with Trump as I've been following his rather interesting and original trial. There are too many other commentators on it out there for me to be saying anything of real originality, but I found this quite interesting as a kind of president all of its own. Trump has managed to make so many presidents in US history after all, and now another dubious one to add to his place in history.